Are you prepared for a hurricane blackout? As we venture into hurricane season, this question becomes more than a mere hypothetical. It becomes a harsh reality that many of us might have to face. It's not a question of if a hurricane will strike, but when. And with these fierce storms, power outages are not just a possibility, they're a near certainty. Imagine this, the wind howls against your home, rain lashes at the windows, and then, suddenly, darkness. The power is out. It's not just the lights, it's the refrigerator, the heating, the air conditioning, everything. You're plunged into a world without modern conveniences, and it can last for hours, days, or even weeks. In those moments, being prepared can mean the difference between discomfort and disaster. This is where we come in. In our video, Surviving a Hurricane Blackout, Prepping Tips for Power Outages, we're going to share crucial strategies and essential tips to ensure you're fully prepared for the inevitable power disruptions that come with a hurricane. We're talking about everything from fortifying your home to stocking up on crucial supplies. This video will guide you through everything you need to know to keep your family safe, comfortable, and self-sufficient when the lights go out. We'll explore topics like how to evaluate your personal and family needs to determine what items are essential for your stockpile. We'll discuss how to protect and secure your power systems and provide tips for maintaining a safe environment during an extended blackout. We'll delve into the critical supplies you need to have on hand, such as portable power sources, battery-operated devices, and non-perishable foods. We're not just talking about surviving, we're talking about thriving. We're talking about being ready to face the storm with confidence. Now that you understand the importance of preparation, let's dive into the specifics. The next time a hurricane sweeps through your area, you'll be ready, you'll be prepared, and most importantly, you'll be safe. So stay tuned and let's weather the storm together. Your first line of defense is your home. It needs to be as prepared as you are. When a hurricane is on the horizon, the power grid is often the first casualty. That's why protecting and securing your home's power systems is a critical step in preparing for the inevitable blackout. Start by safeguarding your electrical systems. Consider installing surge protectors to shield your appliances from voltage spikes caused by lightning strikes or power surges when the grid comes back online. If you have a generator, ensure it's in good working order. Regular maintenance is key to dependable operation. Keep it filled with fuel and store extra fuel in a cool, well-ventilated area. Remember, generators should never be run indoors due to the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. Solar panels can be a good investment too. They provide a renewable energy source that keeps working even when the grid is down. Battery systems paired with solar panels can keep your lights on and your critical appliances running. When it comes to maintaining a safe environment during a blackout, it's all about planning and precaution. Make sure you have a well-thought-out plan to deal with potential hazards. This could include everything from securing loose items that could become projectiles in high winds to knowing where your home's main water shutoff valve is in case of a flood. Another safety measure to consider is investing in blackout curtains. Not only do they help conserve energy by keeping your home cooler during the day, but they also shield the light from your home at night, making it less visible to others. Lastly, let's not forget about fire safety. Ensure you have working smoke detectors and fire extinguishers in key areas around your home. During a blackout, the risk of fire can increase due to the use of candles or other alternative light sources. Remember, safety is a continuous process, not a one-time event. Regularly review and update your plans as needed and always keep safety top of mind. With your home fortified, let's look at the essential supplies you'll need. When power goes out, you're on your own. What are the essentials you need? The first item on your list, portable power sources. These are lifesavers, literally. Think power banks for your devices, solar chargers for your batteries, and even a portable generator if you can swing it. Next up, battery-operated devices. Flashlights, radios, fans, these are your lifelines to the outside world and a source of comfort in a blackout. And let's not forget about food. Non-perishable is the name of the game. Stock up on canned goods, dried fruits, nuts, and grains. And don't forget the manual can opener. Remember, it's not just about surviving, but thriving in these challenging circumstances. So, consider adding books, board games, and other forms of entertainment to your list. Your goal is to create a comprehensive emergency kit that will sustain you and your family throughout the outage. Now that you know what to stock up on, let's talk about food and water preservation. When there's no refrigeration, how do you keep food safe and water accessible? That's a question you'll need to answer when dealing with a hurricane-induced blackout. The answer lies in effective food and water preservation techniques. 
For food, focus on non-perishable items with a long shelf life. Think canned goods, dried fruits, and vacuum-sealed meats. These require no refrigeration and can sustain you for extended periods. However, if you have perishable food, consider investing in a high-quality cooler. Ice packs can keep items chilled for several days. Water, on the other hand, is about storage and purification. Store water in clean, food-grade containers and have a supply of water purification tablets or a water filter on hand. Don't forget to account for all your water needs, including drinking, cooking, and sanitation. Managing your stockpile is also crucial. Rotate your supplies to ensure nothing goes out of date and always replenish used items. With food and water secured, let's move on to alternative lighting and heating. When the lights go out, how do you navigate your home or keep warm? This is where alternative lighting and heating solutions step in. Solar-powered lamps, for example, absorb sunlight during the day and illuminate your surroundings at night. They're efficient, eco-friendly, and don't rely on grid power. Candles are another option. Just remember, safety first. Never leave a lit candle unattended. Lanterns, especially LED ones, offer a safe and long-lasting light source. Now let's talk about staying warm. If the power goes out during cold weather, you're going to need a heat source. Portable heaters powered by propane or kerosene can be a lifesaver. Just ensure you use them in a well-ventilated area to prevent carbon monoxide buildup. Insulation is another key strategy. Everything from thermal blankets to draft stoppers can help retain heat in your home. Now that you can see and stay warm, let's discuss how to stay informed. In a blackout, how do you stay connected to the world? This question is of utmost importance when you're weathering a storm, and we have some answers. Staying informed during a blackout is crucial, and there are several ways to do this. Remember, information is power, even when there's no power. Firstly, consider a battery-operated or hand-crank radio. These are classic tools that can deliver weather updates and emergency alerts, even when the lights are out. If you have a car, don't forget the radio there. It's another resource you can tap into for updates. If you have a smartphone, consider downloading emergency apps. Many of these are designed to provide real-time weather updates and emergency notifications even when cell towers are down. They use minimal power and can be a lifeline for information. Finally, don't discount word of mouth. Neighbors and community members can be valuable sources of information. With communication established, let's talk about safety measures. Safety is key during a blackout. What precautions should you take? Let's dive right in. When power outages strike, it's vital to manage your resources wisely and safely. Generators, for instance, are a common go-to for backup power, but they need to be handled with care. Never use them indoors or in enclosed spaces to avoid carbon monoxide buildup, a silent and deadly hazard. Always place your generator outdoors, away from windows and doors. Speaking of hazards, potential fire risks are another concern during a blackout. With the usual electric lights out of commission, you might rely on candles or oil lamps, but remember, these are open flames. Keep them away from flammable materials, never leave them unattended, and always extinguish them before you sleep. Battery-operated or solar-powered lights are safer alternatives, so consider investing in these. Cooking can also pose a fire risk, especially if you're using alternative methods like camping stoves. Again, never leave these unattended while in use and ensure they're completely off when you're done. Next up is ventilation. If it's hot and you're without air conditioning, it can be tempting to seal up the house to keep the cool air in. However, this can lead to poor air circulation and increased humidity, which may lead to health issues. It's better to create a cross breeze by opening windows on opposite sides of your home and remember to stay hydrated. Finally, let's talk about food safety. Without refrigeration, perishables can spoil quickly. Eat these first and then move on to your non-perishable items. If you're unsure if something is safe to eat, remember the old adage, when in doubt, throw it out. These safety measures might seem like common sense, but in the chaos of a power outage, it's easy to overlook the basics. Keep these tips in mind and you'll greatly reduce your risk of accidents during a blackout. With safety measures in place, let's prepare for future outages. The storm has passed, how do you prepare for the next one? Post-hurricane, it's time to take stock. Assess your preparation and the effectiveness of your strategies. Did your supplies last? Was your home adequately fortified? These are crucial questions to ask yourself. Take a good hard look at your emergency kit. If you ran out of batteries or your portable power source didn't last as long as you hoped, it's time to upgrade. Consider investing in higher quality, long-lasting supplies. 
Remember, the value of these items is not just in their cost, but in their ability to keep you safe and comfortable during a power outage. Think about your food and water preservation methods. Were they effective? Did you have enough water for drinking and sanitation? If not, it's time to reassess. Maybe you need more coolers or a better system for managing your stockpile. And don't forget about alternative lighting and heating methods. Were they sufficient? If you were left in the dark or cold, explore other options like solar-powered lamps or portable heaters. Reflect also on how well you stayed informed during the blackout. Was your battery-operated radio reliable? Could you access emergency alerts and weather updates? If communication was a challenge, consider adding an emergency app to your phone or investing in a better radio. Safety is paramount. Consider how well you managed potential hazards. Did you handle your generator safely? Were you prepared for fire hazards? If you felt at risk at any point, it's time to take further safety measures. Your analysis should not end once you've restocked your supplies and addressed any weaknesses. Preparing for future outages is an ongoing process. Keep an eye on the expiration dates of your supplies, rotate them as needed, and always be on the lookout for new strategies and technologies that could help you weather the next storm better. By following these steps, you're now prepared for any hurricane blackout. Remember, the key is to prepare now, not when the storm is on the horizon.